I'm sorry, Finn and Jake. The law is very clear in situations like these. But somebody tricked Ice King into leaving. A tour to promote his Fiona and Cake books? No way that's legit. Seriously, have you read those things? Hey, those books are great. You quit trying to mess things up and wreck me getting my own kingdom. Princess, come on. You know this is a bad idea. I don't know, Finn. I mean, when it comes to picking a responsible ruler for a kingdom, LSP certainly wouldn't be my first choice. Maybe not even one of my top 10. Or 50. Hey! No offense, but I'd be lying if I said it wouldn't be better to have somebody less, well, creepy and kidnappy ruling the Ice Kingdom. You hear that? I'm not creepy! We don't want Ice King as a permanent house guest. Isn't there anything we can do? I'm afraid not. Pending the results of the three honorable deeds, the coronation will proceed as planned. Three honorable what now? I can explain in detail if you'd like to discuss it. But the deeds are a mere formality. Nobody has ever failed to complete them properly. I'm sorry, but the law is the law. Stupid law! Gentlemen, I am quite busy, but I shall help if I can. You said something about three noble deeds. What's up with that? When a princess is to be installed in an expedited manner, as is the case here, she must first prove her worthiness. She does so by completing three tasks that a princess might be expected to perform in the course of her duties. What's the scoop on these deeds? What does a princess to be have to do? All princesses must perform the same basic deeds, throw a lovely party, help a lovelorn couple find happiness, and do a favor for a friend in need. All basic skills that any princess must be able to accomplish. When does LSP have to do her noble deeds? Oh, she has already completed them. I simply haven't had enough time to evaluate them yet. So much to do, you know. What kind of party did LSP have to throw? There is a young marshmallow child who is having a birthday today. Lumpy Space Princess's task was simply to provide a cake that would make the child's party a memorable one. Helping a lovelorn couple? What's that all about? Many people need a bit of a push to take that first step and become a couple. In this case, I tasked LSP with delivering an invitation to the coronation from Dr. Donut to Nurse Pound Cake. So, like matchmaking, huh? Um, totally unrelated, but have you ever met Flame Princess? Finn, focus! We'll talk later. LSP isn't usually the doing favors for friends type. What did you ask her to do? A visiting dignitary from the Fire Kingdom, a Mr. Cinnamon Bun, is in the Candy Kingdom for the big event. He needed someone to walk his pet Firewolf while he got ready for the coronation. LSP was to provide that service. So what happens if LSP donked up her noble deeds? Does that mean she doesn't get the job? Oh my, yes. If she, as you say, donked up any of the three noble deeds, or were to show incompetence, she would be removed from consideration. Would it be okay if me and Jake check up on things? Talk to the people LSB did stuff for and see how she did? That would, in fact, be a great help to me. I have so much to do in preparation for the coronation. Should you and your stretchy dog friend find that lumpy space princess has performed inadequately, please bring it to my attention. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Pillman Butler. We should track down that marshmallow kid, Nurse Poundcake and Cinnamon Bun right away and see how LSP did. Yeah, no way she did all this stuff right. Ice King will be out of our house and back in charge of the Ice Kingdom in no time. Adventure time, come on, grab your friends, we'll go to very distant lands. We'll take the dog and then the kill and the book will never end. It's adventure time. Lumpy Space Princess, we need to talk to you about your three noble deeds. Yeah, whatever, I totally nailed those. Tell us about the Marshmallow Kid's birthday party. Okay, so... I was supposed to bake him cake, but like baking is really hard and you need ingredients and stuff and I was super busy. So I just jammed together some candy people and stuff I found on the ground and made a cake. It was awesome! 
That's not awesome, LSP. That's horrible. He's just a stupid kid. It's not like he'll notice. It's not like you can do any better. Tell us about helping Nurse Poundcake and Dr. Donut. Yeah, the Donut Doctor guy? He gave me this sad, pathetic note full of mushy stuff to her and stuff. But I'm a lady, and I just know that the cake nurse doesn't want a whiny guy like that all up in her lumps. Not delivering that note was the best help I could give her. But what happened to the note? I don't know! I grabbed a snack in the kitchen and left, and oh my god, do you expect me to remember everything? This is my big day! I have stuff on my mind, Finn! So what about doing a favor for a friend? How'd you nail that one? That one was super easy. Wolves are complicated, so I just totally decided to outsource it. There's a bunch of people with nothing to do down near the tavern. One of those guys said he'd walk the cinnamon guy's wolf. You gave Cinnamon Bun's pet to some bum? I'm not stupid, Jake. I didn't give him to a bum. I lent him to a bum. And he said he's totally gonna take the wolf back to Cinnamon Bun when he's done walking him. All right, LSP. That's it for now. But we might be back later, so stay here. Yeah, bye. Whatever. There's a great view of the Candy Kingdom from here. Wow, that's a lot of gifts. Wonder if they're all for the coronation. Wow, that's a lot of gifts. Wonder if they're all for the coronation. Sure is gonna take a long time to open all of those. That shield is as big as a nice sized cake. No, oh, sorry, I tend to describe things in terms of food when I'm hungry. I don't need a shield now, but I'll find a use for it. Kind of a weird selection of weapons. Finn! Jake! Oh, what a day I'm having. Why so blue, Dr. D? You'd be upset too if you didn't have a date for the coronation. I don't, and I'm not, but what ifs? Why didn't you invite Nurse Poundcake to the coronation like you said you would? What? I did invite her. Oh, this is terrible. Hello Mint Butler told me he would have Lumpy Space Princess deliver my invitation note personally. What could have happened to it? Just as we suspected. Don't worry, Dr. Donut. Finn and Jake are on the case. We'll get things patched up between you and Nurse Poundcake. Thank you, Finn. I sure hope you... Squishy? If I try to remove it with my hand, I'll tear it apart. Oh, Finn, Jake, I'm sorry. I'm too depressed to talk right now. Why so glum, Nurse P? I don't think Dr. Donut likes me anymore. Why do you think Dr. Donut doesn't like you? I thought you were pretty close. I did too, but he was supposed to invite me to be his date to the coronation, and he never did. Are you sure? Maybe there's been some sort of misunderstanding. The gossip was that he was sending an invitation note and that Lumpy Space Princess was delivering it personally. But she never came! He must have changed his mind! <laughs> Dude, this smells like a classic Lumpy Space Princess screw-up. We gotta tell Filament Butler. This could be the thing that keeps LSP from taking over the Ice Kingdom. Yeah, but we gotta fix things between Nurse Poundcake and Dr. Donut first. I'm sure things are fine, Nurse P. What can we do to reassure you? I won't be satisfied until I see Dr. Donut's note. If you find it, I'll know everything is fine between us. 
No problem. Me and Jake will find that note. Jake, my birthday party is ruined! What happened? Why are you so upset? One of Lumpy Space Princess's noble deeds was to throw me a great birthday party! But she totally dunked it up. Um, what happened to that cake? It was awful! LSP brought a homemade cake, but she made it out of garbage! And candy people! It attacked my friends. The banana guards had to knock it unconscious. Jake, when Pillman Butler hears how bad LSP screwed this thing up, he'll have to reconsider putting her in charge of the Ice Kingdom. But first, we gotta do something to help this poor kid. We don't want you to have a lousy birthday party, Marshmallow Kid. What can we do to fix it? Well, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, could you guys make me a new cake? A better one? One that isn't, you know, Alive? You got it, Marshmallow Kid! Me and Jake will make you the best birthday cake we've ever made! The first birthday cake we've ever made. So it'll maybe be good, but we can promise that it won't be alive. Probably. All right, Jake. We're gonna need a cake plate, a cake, some frosting, <gasps> and some cool bling to top it all off. Let's get started! <laughs> That cake is so nasty, I think I might hurl. Finn and Jake, just look at that horrible cake LSP made for the party. We need a new one. Cinnamon bun, what's the matter? Oh, Finn, Jake, you gotta help me. Jake too is missing. Uh, who's Jake 2 again? You know, Jake 2, my pet firewolf. I named him after you, Jake, because you and me are such good friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, what happened to him? Well, Bumpy Space Princess was supposed to take him for a walk while I was getting ready for the coronation thing. But she gave him to some stranger to do it for her. She said wolves are complicated, but I think she's just lazy and mean. Jake, LSP really messed this up. Pillman Butler needs to know about this, but not until we help Cinnamon Bun. How can we help Cinnamon Bun? You guys have got to find Jake too and bring him back to me. He's going to be scared all alone. Firewolves start burning stuff when they're scared. Don't worry, man. We'll bring him back safe and sound. I don't think anybody lives here. Nobody I'd want to meet anyway. Hey! What's up? You must be new around here! Hey, yeah. Name's Sonny. Hi, Sonny! We're Finn and Jake. Adventurers and investigators. Nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. Later. Yeah, see ya! Wonder why somebody'd leave a perfectly good sofa on the street. I don't think anybody lives here. Nobody I'd want to meet anyway. Hey, hands off! That's mine! You got about two seconds before I punch you in the face! Yeah, hi. You haven't by chance seen a firewolf around here, have you? Who's asking? Um, me. I, uh, I, I just asked you. Oh, yeah. Well, just so happens I might have seen one in a basement nearby. Or maybe I didn't. You never can tell. So, what brings you to this lovely part of town today? Not that it's any of your business. But I'm waiting for the tavern to open. I need me a nice sugary beverage! 
So, what you got over there? Rope or something? Yeah! It's my new rope belt! Just got it! Hmm, I sure would like to have a belt that nice. What do you want for it? It ain't for sale! But if you want to trade, you can get me a sugary drink. Cola, punch, whatever! I'd give anything for a sugary drink! Man! I am an angry, angry cookie! Digging around in trash cans isn't my idea of fun. Not that I don't do it from time to time. Fire. Keep them warm. And burning and lighting stuff. Somebody took the wheels. Sheesh, this is a bad part of town. <laughs> nice, Darkie. Sounds like Dr. J and Jake, too, are behind that door. <sighs> Locked. And it's made of tempered licorice steel. Finn? Jake? Some tasty looking punch. Bet it's super sugary. Good thinking. Now we can take the punch to Cookie Guy. Open wide! What the? <coughs> oh, yeah! That was some tasty sugary punch! I'm almost not angry now! Deal's a deal. Go ahead and take the rope. It's not really a belt. I made that part up! I don't wear pants! Ah, oh, yeah! Nice fuse! Now we can light this baby! <sighs> Not a bad idea, but we should probably light it first. <sighs> if somebody can hear me, help! Okay, the fuse is lit and it's gonna explode soonish. Now what? Note to self, never get a patch. Now just stand back and watch the fireworks. Nice! Man, this ain't even a sugar cone. <sighs> Jeez, never thought I'd be glad to see you guys. <sighs> Having a problem, Dr. J? Of course I am. I walked this firewolf just like the lumpy broad told me, but that didn't tire him out. So I brought a fetch with a broom. Now he wants me to keep playing and I can't get rid of him. He'll burn the whole place down if I don't get him out of here. Firewolves do love playing fetch. Well, find him something more interesting to fetch so he'll leave me alone. We should help him. Hey, if we can figure out something more interesting for Jake 2 to fetch, he'll probably follow us back to Cinnamon Bun. Just distract the firewolf already. That's not working. Here, Jake, too. Here, boy. Nah, nothing. That ain't working, dude. Hey, Jake, too. Check this out. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, Jake, let's get Jake, too, back to Cinnamon Bun. Hey, Cinnamon Bun, look who we found! Jake, too! Finn, Jake, thank you for finding my Firewolf! That's what I get for trusting Lumpy Space Princess. She's irresponsible. Algebraic! Sweet! Oh, 
I'm sure glad we could help him find his firewolf. Check it out, a snail. You haven't found Dr. Donut's note yet? Oh my. Finn, Jake, please, just find the note and deliver it to Nurse Poundcake. Hands off the science stuff, dude. Science is not your thing. PB stove is nicer than ours. Why would I do that? Wow, a food that isn't candy or cake. It's Dr. Donut's note to Nurse Poundcake. We gotta deliver it to her. Nurse Poundcake, look what we found. A note from Dr. Dora inviting me to the coronation. Oh, Finn, Jake, thank you. I was so worried he had asked someone else to go with him. Now, whatever will I wear? Cool. Yeah. That could be the base layer for a cake. Nice! Eggs. That reminds me. Do we still have a chicken? That fountain looks so tasty I could just drink it all up. Forget it, dude. Have you seen how many sofas we've got at home? We don't need another one. Now you're pushing your luck! That cake looks horrible, but at least it's not alive anymore. We can build the new cake right here. First thing we'll need is a cake plate. There, that'll make a good cake plate. Now for the cake. The perfect start to a perfect cake, or at least a better one than LSPs. That's a good cake base. Now it needs some frosting. There's no frosting. I don't want a cake without frosting. I don't think Mr. Cream Puff wants me to squeeze him. Gross. But oddly tasty looking. At least we have some frosting now. Bloop! You might think it's frosting, but it's not. <laughs> Almost done, I think. Looks good. Now it just needs a little bling. Ta-da! One awesome birthday cake. What do you think, Marshmallow Kid? Pretty nice, huh? Yes! That's way better than that nasty thing LSP made. Thanks, Finn and Jake. Glad to help. All right, Jake, that's that. We fixed all of LSP's noble deed screw-ups. Time to let Pillament Butler know what a bad job she did. Yeah, no way he'll put her in charge of the Ice Kingdom after he hears what a mess she made of everything. Pillament Butler, Jake and me are finally back. And man, oh man, are you gonna wanna hear about this. What the? By the power vested in me, by the Candy Kingdom and the King of Ooh, I pronounce you Princess of the Ice Kingdom. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! But how? We have evidence. LSP didn't complete her noble deeds. Really? Well, my records show that all three of Lumpy Space... Excuse me. Ice Kingdom Princess's noble deeds were completed impeccably. What? No! She totally docked them up. Me and Jake were the ones who completed the deeds and helped our friends. Well, I'm afraid I can't corroborate your story, young man. And at any rate, it's much too late. Space Finn and Jake! <clears throat> Yes. Well, if you will come with me, Your Highness, there is a reception with light refreshments in the courtyard. No Lumpin way! I got my own kingdom now, pillow guy. I'm gonna rule it. Lumpy Ice Princess out! Aw, oh, man. 
I guess we're gonna have Ice King as a permanent roomie. No way, man. This isn't over. Let's give her a day or two and then head up to the Ice Kingdom and look around. All right, but I'm taking the sofa tonight. Ice King snores. <laughs>